there was an article in the Washington Examiner. Uh, Cam, or no, sorry, Con Carroll from the Washington Examiner. Now, this is obviously somebody that does not know a lot about this sport. Of course. Suggested that, and, and a lot of people are sharing this thing around and whatnot, and, and I totally get it. Uh, only one bid per conference into the playoff. Is this something that you think that they will push towards? And, of course, the SEC will not allow it. It will never happen. But do you think that something like that would actually be better for the sport? So not one bid, but I actually do think if you cut it off at two per conference, I actually think that that appeases everybody. Because yeah. now you don't have the third best team in the SEC getting in. And, and because right now, the way it's constituted, like if we did it this year with the top 12, the SEC gets four teams in, right? Uh, I think only three. Just three? That's yeah, fine. Yeah, Ole Miss like, would be included. but yeah. Okay, so, so like Ole Miss wouldn't have gotten in, and that spot would go to someone else. And, and that's okay. And I think that's – I, I would actually bend on that. Like being the, the guy that's from the SEC and my team's in the SEC, and, and we've lived this – area and we cover it while we know a lot about all of the country and we cover it all. I actually think that's pretty fair. I actually think that's a pretty good compromise is let's get to 12 with the stipulation of, I don't care if you're ranked when the season's over with three teams in the top five, that if, if you're one, two and five, five, ain't making the playoffs. It just don't, don't come in third in your conference. Yes. That's now, I think that's easy. How enough. do you, how do you get that? As in, let's say we have a situation where we have a one-loss team in the West that doesn't make the the SEC playoff, and you end up with an undefeated team from the East that loses to the West team, and so now you have two one-loss teams. But you know who gets ranked where? That's for the voters. That's for the maybe the SEC. Maybe each conference gets to, to determine that. Like if you're gonna have a pick the conference gets to say, hey, we think this team is actually more deserving than that, and you get to send one. Um, and and that, that would make very hard job for the commissioner and for people involved, but I, I'm okay with that. I believe it was 2012, or maybe it was 2011. I'm trying to remember. There was the a TCU year. Baylor? No, no, no. It was a oh. year when Alabama, Arkansas, and LSU were number one, two, and three heading into yes. – I think it was 2011. We're, we're ranked number one, two, and three heading into the, the final weekend of the season. And I, I believe LSU had to beat Arkansas to make it to Atlanta, if I'm not That's right. mistaken. Yes. yes. Week 12, November 20th, LSU 11 and Alabama 10 and 1, Arkansas 10 and 1. Alabama had beaten Arkansas, but had lost to LSU. So if Arkansas had beaten LSU that weekend, it's basically just who is the higher ranked team. And then you have to figure So it does not happen often. But there are no, it doesn't instances. happen often, but we'd have to come up with a solution for that because we've we've had it this year. We would have had almost every year the SEC would have gotten three teams in if you extrapolate it out to what would be 12 based on the rules and what we're talking about. Yes. So you've got to have something for that. But here's the thing. I'm okay with that. I'm 100 percent okay with that because if you're third in your conference, then I then I'm okay with saying you you just don't get to play for number one in the country. Yeah. Now, is that weird to say you can be second in your conference and number one in the country? Uh, I get it, but I'm okay with drawing the line somewhere if it means we get to we get to do this thing. Yes, yes, I'm with you. I'm with you. Uh, the next but one per conference is ridiculous. That's stupid, and that's drawn up by people who don't follow the sport at all. And that's that's not enough. Like that's just not enough. Yeah, I, t- I tend to agree. I two per conference is a compromise I would make. <laughs> I think I might be all right with that. Uh, I don't know that the SEC will ever okay it, but but it is something to think about. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.